Hi there YouTubers, it's raining and I'm wearing a new pair of glasses. in the rain, talking, driving in the rain, with sunglasses. So uh, you're probably wondering why am I driving in the rain with sunglasses and why why did I get new sunglasses? And I could just say why not. Or I could explain. Uh, so I thought, you know, I've got a vlog to practice for. I'm not practicing, I am vlogging. Um, so I'll explain. Um, so originally, you know, I, I come from an era where corporate identity is very important, or was very important. Um, and believe it or not, it is still important today. They're just better at hiding it. Because um, basically, you know, you create a brand and that brand creates recognition. So how do you create recognition? Well, you know, something that kind of sets an expectation and it's the same, you know, whether it's the look or the sound, you know, the theme music, you know, if the music's the same, you recognise what's going on. They called a signature tune back when I was younger. You know, the, the, the signature tune would play for a TV program. You know exactly what was on that was nowadays. That doesn't matter. Uh, it's become much more visual. Uh, so knowing that, I, I still have an appreciation for sound. That's why I've got the windows open, although it's raining, so it's all a bit noisier. But that does mean I have to raise my voice to hear myself talk, which probably means you can hear me talk as well. Um, where was I? Corporate identity, branding, all that good stuff. And that's still really important, especially if you want to grow an audience on YouTube, they have to be able to recognize who you are and what you do. Uh, so they can either decide that they want to watch it or they think, <laughs> it's that clown again, I'm not going to watch that. So you have to decide. Now behind that, you, you can design a brand identity of corporate identity, whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, you don't have to put any thought into it, you know, um, but I like to think about these things, and as I was, as, I, I mean, YouTube likes to go on and on and on and on and on and on and on, and then so the YouTube consultants like to go on and on and on and on and on about the importance of thumbnails, and I kind of agree, a thumbnail is important, you know, it's like a little, uh, it's like a book, a book cover, right? Don't judge a book by its cover. You know, the cover could be amazing, but the book could maybe not be so amazing. So it's that kind of thing uh, with a thumbnail. But the, the problem I have is when you're a small YouTuber, it's quite a lot of effort to create a thumbnail. It, it takes a lot of time, especially if you're obsessive like me. You know, you're tweaking them and you're thinking, you know what? If only I could choose one of the default thumbnails that YouTube has selected and kind of be done. And so with most of my videos, that's what I do. You know, until I can kind of employ an Indian to create my thumbnails, I'm just going to go with whatever YouTube suggests. Not the default one, not always. Um, YouTube does give you... YouTube does give you a choice of three thumbnails uh, as I write this today. So there's that, and uh, what's the saying? Thumbnails, yeah, I mean, they're a pain in the ass basically to keep making, especially when you do like a video a day or more. I mean, it's like, oh, it's hard work, and when something's hard work, it's not enjoyable, and if it's not enjoyable, why are you doing it? You know, that's, that's I mean, I don't do YouTube to make money. I mean, it's good that it does make money. Um, but that's not my primary concern. I do it to enjoy myself. It's an outlet. It's a form of self-expression. Now I better get to the point because I'm 
almost at my destination. Um, what was my point? Uh, my point was, so yeah, uh, corporate identity, branding, uh, it's kind of your branding is your reputation, so people know whether to click or not. <coughs> once, once your brand is a little bit established within the niche or the, the community, whatever it may be, um, then it, you, you, know, you kind of get into the realms of discovery and how are you discovered you know, beyond your SEO and tags and keywords and that kind of stuff. What makes a person click on your thumbnail? No matter what the thumbnail is, if, you know, if they don't know who you are, or if they do know who you are, how do they recognise you? Why do they click? Now there's some well established uh, psychology behind colour and apparently yellow, yellow and eye contact, uh, I can't really do eye contact because I'm wearing shades, but so yellow, yellow is, is a, apparently a good colour to invoke action in what in marketing terms you call the prospect, you know, the person you want to click or you want them to buy whatever it is you're selling. You know, and I'm not a I'm not a fool, I'm not ignorant about this. I'm selling you a video, you're investing your time. Um, now, you don't pay me money for that unless you're on YouTube Red, in which case, thank you, YouTube Red. Uh, if you're not paying, you've probably watched an advert if YouTube has presented you with an advert, and you've probably skipped it because it was probably an advert that's just you know, boring. Um, or it might not be, I mean, they try to present you adverts that you want to see. That's the whole point of the algorithm. Anyway, so, yeah, so, uh, you know, I've thought, buy a new pair of sunglasses, these, these are like my vlogging glasses now, so if I ever wear these, I'm going to have to vlog, um, because, again, it's about having no accidents on the road with big lorries. Uh, so, yeah, so that, that's the whole point, and I've, and I've explained in one of my previous vlogs why I'm wearing glasses, you know, so I can do this. And so, yeah, I, I'm, um, I'm where I wanted to go. That's the end of this particular vlog. I hope you found some nugget of information uh, that was at least entertaining, if not incredibly interesting.